it's LGD. And if you didn't know, Pudge versus Shadow Fiend, this has been an awful matchup for Shadow Fiend. I mean, I guess, I mean, back in Dota 1, obviously, you know. Top lane. We've seen a lot of pressure. There's the cold snap again. Ame's only level 1, just getting smacked up. There's going to be a toss. That's going to be a first blood. Arcane rune up top, I'm sure. Shadow Fiend would love to get this mid one's gonna have to deny it though. Just go take it himself, because he's already getting low. He has to pop his healing self he just brought. Top lane again, X Nova in trouble, goes down, Zy goes down as well, and this is a, a bloodbath up top. Mayhem begins. Up top, there will be a bash. There's gonna be an EMP. No one wants to lose all their mana, but it looks like Ame, he'll lose a decent chunk. There's gonna be the tornado. He's taking so um, much damage, he's just gonna go down. What? Yeah, Nisha committed with the uh, leash well, to yeah. try to get the Sand King, and instead the Sand King just turned around Folks and first striked him. Oh. They're going to try to push forward. Somnus 39 and 20 having an absolute great game, but guess who's here? It's Zai. He's going to try to find the oh, toss. No. He gets the range creep instead. Puppy TP's in. Now they're going to try to turn it onto this FY Rubik. It's a 3v2, but it feels like LGD's the more scary nice people. Hook. Nice hook, though. FY will get brought down. He's just going to try to chase after him. There will be the tree No flesh heap stack. Gets the kill. With his hero. Talking about mid now, it's a level six Pudge. He's running over here, try to kill these mud golems. Chalice knows something's up, because his smoke break, there is going to be a chrono up top. Zai goes down, but now mid one is getting initiated on. There's going to be a stun, there's going to be a stomp. Fade Bolt flies in as well. Yeah, mid both. one drops from Seeker right now. And that's a TP in. This Pudge doesn't know Chalice is right under him. Maybe he does. He's not scared. There will be a dust pop puppies here as well now. It's going to be a four on three fight. There's going to be a nice double stun. He's still in the sandstorm. They're taking so much damage. Zai's just going to run in. He's going to get the stun toss combo up on. There's going to be a tornado hitting what? onto four of them. No one's dead quite yet. They're going to look for the Shadow Fiend. This would be a big kill, but mid one just gets turned on right clicked down. There's going to be regen rune used by Zai. They kill the Elder Titan, Zai, get a toss in, Puppy. Hello, Somnus. There's a stun by Chalice. They want to try to save him. The Cold Snap stopping him from doing anything. Guess who's here? It's going to be Nisha. You got to bring the numbers. Chalice might be the next one to go down. That's a triple kill for Nisha. He doesn't have the pounce, but he doesn't need it. Now what? he will. This could be a rampage at nine minutes in. No, because the other heroes top calm down. Oh. Or yep. so, yeah. That's Dies a step in a nutshell. That's why I'm not a huge fan no. of the hero. In this current meta, Middle there's lane. a lot of fighting going on. They're actually just on. diving under the tower right now. X Nova gonna get right clicked down. Can't even get the stomp and give me that flesh sheep. So Omnis hiding on the right side under the trees, and now they're pushing this middle tower. Looks like LGD might have taken a very. There's gonna be a lift up. Will he be able to raise? They pop the drums. They just want to run in. Will there be an eat? There will be, but it's gonna be a kill. Stun flies out from Zai. Won't do too much. Bottom lane. We'll get the pounce up. Chalice. Gets the stun. Here comes the ulti as well. Will he just run away? Nisha says goodbye. That's why I love phase boots on Slark, because even when you're not in your ultimate, the extra movement speed boost is just so nice. This top tower, by the way, looks like Ame might be able to take it down with this siege creep. He's actually moving forward. Wants to kill Puppy. He does have the chrono as well if he wants to use it on Yapzor. Not quite. He's just oh, continuing to double push. Bash. And, oh my goodness. Just melts him down. There's a lot of heroes here. They do need to be killed for that Chrono Zai. He doesn't really have mana either. He doesn't seem to have a, a purpose. I think that there's just other items. Probably way more Ross Rapid. There we go in. Will be the EMP. Stuns out before. Will get frozen in place. There is going to be the urn on top with the Cold Snap Puppy. Just going to throw out the ulti. Chalice, though. As you said, he has a hood. He doesn't really care. And now Ame just comes down here. Puppy's like, I'm just going to keep letting it rip. No bash yet. Finally gets one. Gets a second one as well. Needs about two more attacks. Goes for the freeze. Throws out the Nova, but will just go down. He canceled the uh, the W so that he could wait for the cooldown on Q and get those three creeps before he died. I get it. Ball Efficiency. It. And now top lane, they're diving. X Nova looks to be in a ton of trouble. Slark wants this plus one agility. Going for the stomp. Toss up. Nisha gets the kill, and this should be a tier one tower as well. Oh, hooks over the regen rune. So with this blink dagger, do you start getting a Cold lot snap. more aggressive? Can't cast Chrono. He's in a little bit of trouble. The stun comes out now. He's going to throw the Chrono. Oh. Whoa, he whiffs it right there. But he, no, he gets it on top of the Slark just barely, and they do actually get the kill. Pardon me, 432 gold going his way. They're going to try to turn it around now. Shadow Fiend just throwing out a lot of raises. That ulti gets canceled. And guess what? You bring the numbers. You get the win. There's a nice stun, not even a blink. There will be another one coming out from Zai, though. The Avalanche, it won't matter, and that's a stolen. They just get out of there. You get to really get to Roshan, and by just staying off map, they're threatened at all times. They're going to go for Ame. He just pops the BKB, though, Nisha. Just right click and had to use the ulti himself. Thought he might get chronoed there. And they're oh, going to no, turn around. Zai's that. in a little bit of trouble. He gets his blink canceled by the Spirit. Gets fade bolted again. Gets stomped. They're setting it up, but the hook. We, we see the save. There's a lot of heroes. Chalice actually going to move forward. They want to get this tiny. They still have the chrono. Need to be careful, Zai. 
He's there just getting right click. There's going to be a nice stun toss, but it won't be enough to save him. Or is it? Tornado goes up. Blink he one. bottles up a little bit, and he blinks away. There's the chrono, though. They're going to see two of them. He's like, someone else can kill him. There's going to be the hook out on Yapsor. Will they be able to chase him? Chalice is there following, and this looks to be a three for zero trade. Going up at TI, it's always going to be FY, right? Like yes. This guy FY just has God. that next level on, on land. They're going to go in. Yeah, he is just going to eat the, eat the eat up, but there's going to be a BKB pop by Nisha. Same with Ame. They're just squaring up against each other. He is going to finally pop his ulti. He's stealing a ton of agility, but Puppy, he just gets turned on. What's he doing over here? Yapsor will save him for now. Puppy will get the freeze. Hits him with the time dilation. They want to chase him down. There's going to be x Nova actually dying to Nisha, who's stolen quite a bit of agility right now. That will be the kill on Crystal Maiden. And a one-for-one one trade, or two-for-one, pardon me. Got they have dismember on Rubik as well. That uh, that Aether Lens drastically extends that cash range. And it's the only thing, right? We have a BKB on Pudge now, so you can actually cancel it with that. They're going to move forward. They're going to find the app. So he does get a nice tornado off, but it won't be nice enough. Gets brought down immediately. And now Nisha. Do you think about chronoing this? X Nova. Yep, there it is. Oh, There's going to be the chrono. He just get two. a right click him. Yeah, he's taking so much damage right now. He just gets brought down immediately. Level 20 on his faceless void. He's got that cast range mid one. Trying to run away. He has the rod slow, so you can't get him in melee range. But guess what? It won't matter. They're chasing. They want more. They want to finish this off. Drums BKB built. I really like the... Uh the just raw attack damage. There's the hook. It baits out the BKB immediately, but it Jesus. might just bait out his own death instead. He is doing a lot of right-click damage. They're just going to clear oh, out the creeps, him. and they're going for base. Yeah, the tornado actually hits him. Puppy, will he go down? One more hit. Oh, needed two oh. more hits. Dire Curry actually ends up going down with three sentries from they behind stop. his Nisha. And then that chronosphere gets just enormous. Most voids have been taking the backtrack. Really? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it's effectively 33% extra health if you assume a tier three. normal dead. distribution of damage. I gotta, I gotta say, it. we haven't really called it out yet, but mid one is currently 0, 8, and 7. And uh-oh. Well, I lied. He is now a 0, 9, and 7 as your middle player, and that does not feel good. He has to buy back even right now. That feels like a big difference. He is currently fourth to last on the net worth charts. It's also a last pick, so it's yeah. supposed to have a good game. Oh, and there's going to be the Chrono. He turns it. Will he be able to find Nisha? He does oh. hook him out. He gets the E, but he pops the BKB. They get him in time. There's going to be the Epicenter as well doing so much damage. They're just going to chase down Puppy. He tries to get away, and he will for now. Mid one blinks forward. Doesn't have to dismember yet. Oh, and there's a four staff FY. There will be a toss in there. Huh, Can they find sick. Chalice? Alley -oop. He has the Lotus Orb on him for now, but it looks like he will go down. He has a stun. He wants to make it to the hill, but he can't quite make it. Yules. And he goes down. Yeah, assuming average, like you're you're dodging the amount of damage of equal damage instances, you effectively are giving yourself 750 health on Void, which is insane because you also have backtrack. Ooh, mid one. Here we go. Er, the sorry, hook is going to fly. Void. It er, actually will hit onto Ame. And look at this. He's just going to right click him down, though. This member's already been used. And oh my goodness, yeah. Nisha is already dead. That Chrono's there. Roche is at 2,500 HP. You can't fight this now. He's going to throw some trees into the pit. There's going to be a tornado. They're trying to slow down. Nisha doesn't have buyback, though. Zai doing as much damage as he can. Chalice is here at the Sandstorm. There will be a hook out. It actually will hit onto me. He didn't get the Aegis on Ame because of the hook out, but it won't matter. They turn it around and they get two more kills. There's going to be a stun for Yaps, or he's the next one in trouble. Double kill in a godlike for the Shadow Fiend. Well, it looked like they were just ending it. Oh, Satanic it SF. I do love his build overall. Yeah. Just the mana build. I what? love I love Butterfly Satanic on SF. Usually against heroes like Slark, SF doesn't want to like stand his ground and fight you, but with the void behind, Slark can't commit. Are they arguing about what to do? I don't know. Ame was just like, he was like, I'm just going to hit the racks. And <laughs> you just see someone is like, what? Why? We have Presence Aura affects buildings. And there's still two heroes dead that die back. They're just going to right click this throne. It doesn't look like they can defend this. Lotus Orb up on the void. He has cheese the disarm. as well. There will be a toss. Doesn't quite make it to the fountain, but it looks like Chalice might go down here. Does, but right <laughs> click, right click. Doesn't matter. The game is over. Oh, or the void right? again. Uh, Should have seen that one coming. You Coco do have a ton really of setup nice. again. There's a lot of see it because they're just pushing in the tower. They're like, we're going to push in the tower. And he doesn't have a sal, or he doesn't have a stack Oh, there's going to be the call. It's just going to be a kill. He is getting right clicked. And yeah, Zai just punches him one in the noggin. But you kind of had to. Like, now that you're back, you're like, all right, I got some stuff. We'll see what yeah. I can do. He does get the call off. Going to be spinning a lot. Ogre is taking a ton of damage. We get another spin. We'll get time locked, but still just spin after spin. The cold bash. snap plus the battle hunger. X Nova goes down. Still no bash, but gets the right click. Ame oh, will pick up a kill. That almost takes him to level four. Guess who just TP'd up here? It's FY. They 
Won't shoot the arrow quite yet. Whoop, whoop, faking it out, faking it out. We'll just leap over. Nice tornado. Starstorm hits twice. It is only level one, though. And Ame gets a double kill. 204. I think if he goes for the more defensive, like I'm just sitting in lane passive buildings, that he actually lives there. Stunpus is going to throw him down. Zai is going to be there. Get the call off. They want to get these rune. There's going to be a Spectre ulti as well. They're going to go for Ame. He is just going to try to time walk away. Defensive Has chrono. the chrono. Will he use it? As you said, defensively, he will now. They want to turn around. Maybe not. Zai actually looking for a call. <laughs> get tossed up into the chrono. Stuck in midair. Zai still alive, though. Gets the call off. Puppies here. Has an ice path. Hasn't committed it quite yet. X will bring him back. Arrow flies, actually ends up hitting the Jakiro. X Nova looks to be the next one to fall. Now they're going for Puppy from the backside. All the illusion rooms doing a ton of damage. Torrent will throw Somnus into the air, but Puppy, next one to fall. Ame is on a killing spree. They back it up. Before they move forward, they want the boat. There's the X. Pull the tiny back. Hits him. Right clicks go. And well, they're looking for Zai, but Ame just has to make it out. Probability right now. Even though it's only 15 minutes in, nearly 70% win for Secret to Mobile. Oh, the rune still gets picked up, and now Ame, he's in a little bit of trouble. The call is going to be there. Can he get anything off? No, he just goes down. He tries to walk up the hill just to steal the rune. Chalice will get his ulti off, but it does only hit onto one of them. They're just going to try to chase him down. Do they have any detection? Ice Path is there. But the call, a little bit late. You need that detection, especially versus Marana. And need to get Yapsor. And um, other, you have to get Zai, too. Oh. And look, you can see how they're playing, like, always together. And it's just incredibly difficult to find oh. a kill on a core. There's going to be an OT. They're going to X him back. No, nice leap away. Wow, FYI, I have no clue how he did that, but he did. There's going to be a call coming on the Ogre. They try to bring him back, but it looks like Ame wants to go and pops the BKB. Does he have a Chrono? He hasn't used it quite yet. He's still thinking about it. Meanwhile, there will be an RP on the backside. No one's gone down yet. Puppy actually gets his Ice Path up. There's going to be the Chrono. Finally, wants to bring it out too. He has the Empower, so he's cleaving down. What nice call by Zai, though, to pull him out of that. Puppy will go down, but he's going to buy back instantly. There will be an arrow flying. Doesn't he one puppy comes back. Once he get an arrow, he's gonna throw some oh. arrow. Will hit onto mid one. Can they bring him down? Yes, Ame with the right clicks. Puppy does hit two with that ice path, but the right clicks going on Chels will get the kill. Zai does miss the dunk. Purge There's the empower. Oh my goodness, FY trying to he wants the Absor. The Absor is just dancing on him. Ame taking a lot of damage. Is gonna have to try to run away. The ice path hits onto two of them. Yeah, he was on the part of the chrono that is leaves him in range. Inside. Yeah, yeah. You move so fast that you miss maybe and look, one auto attack. Look at that, and he should have 3,000 damage to that fight on the Spectre. And well, we're gonna move forward. It looks like EMP will go off. Somnus is gonna lose all his mana. There's gonna be the boat as well. Multicast goes out on Zai, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Somnus is just gonna get brought down pretty easily. On the max side, Yapsor is getting run down. It's one for one right now, and these fights non-stop. Ame taking so much damage, and because that Mask of Madness can't really do anything, just has to run away. There's gonna be the Ice Pass once more. Ogre goes down. Oh, Nisha with the double, and Chalice. Uh-oh. Nice oh, play. Oh, yes. Wait. No ice path there to do it. But Zai blinks back in. Goes for FY. There's the ice path now. They're just going to run forward. There's the Solar Crest slowing them all down. Nice skewer to save him for now. Nisha, though, continuously chasing. Tries to leap away. But FY goes down and mid one gets the kill. All of a sudden, LGD is crumbling under their tier one. Zai actually gets the call off after the, the time Solar block. Crest. And there we go. Oh, my God. He just Melted people now because there's gonna be a if it, there's nothing you can do to stop the void if he gets the chrono off, and then Somnus could theoretically just get two or three seconds of a tree channel, and whoever's caught inside is just gonna go down. And if it's Spectre, because the BKB, you won't take dispersion oh, damage. Get ready, they're gonna try to go in. It will be Chalice. Chalice will get Whoa. the ulti up. There's gonna be a shrine. Can they get their the time? They do with the oh mech, and it's gonna be a God. two man chrono. Ame doing so much damage. The axe is getting right click. Hasn't gone down yet. Finally gets right click down. The Spectre. Can't make it down the hill quite yet. Yes, he will. The Solar Crest saves him for now, or does it? Still ticking down, but will be okay because the Pirate Rum. Now, oh Somnus God. just destroying mid oh. one right now. But they, they got him in the fountain. And they do get Nisha. FY, what a play. Mid what did he one. do? Hit him with an arrow? I missed no, it. No, he queued and it one. lands. Like, it, he was oh near enough, gosh. so the Starfall is going to land even if you TP out. It wow. just takes a little delay. Yeah. That's what allows you to yeah, just. Yeah, he, is, he does have it queued up. Because so you're playing. Interesting. You're, you're, wait, Satanic's queued yeah, up? Yeah, he had a Satanic queued up. Huh. That's really weird. It is. Oh, wait, is the quarterstaff an MVP2? Hang well, on. There's going to be another fight. Yeah, looks like we will get a call onto the Ogre. It will be an ice path. Looks like they can get this five position. Maybe not. He four steps out. Zai is going to be in bad position because of Chalice and that nice skewer. Nice arrow as well from FY. 
a one for one trade, but Samet's in a little bit of trouble now. They are gonna pop it. Desolate won't be there because Ame's over here helping out. And Nisha taking so much damage from those All tree throws and the bash. One more another will be there. Oh my god. Ame gets the kill and now pops the BKB just to get Puppy. Another bash goes out there. This guy's Chalice good. Chasing for more. Somnus wants somebody as well, but they will find Yapsor possibly. Ame has Chrono in 20. Probably doesn't want to use it, and yep, Yapsor's out of here. It's applied, right? So each item be is like two oh, or three times as effective. Thank trying you. to jump in. Sorry, it looks like Ami. He takes a ton of damage because that Blade Mother is going to jump back. They're going to go in for the kill. Chalice has used his ulti already. The tree throws there. Zai, the only one to go down. X Nova in the back. They are Marana ulti. Somnus gets another one on Puppy. They try to get their tornado up. X Nova will finally drop, and he gets the chrono. It will be only on Nisha, but that's the only one you need if you get this kill, and they will. The damage from FY and Tiny in that chrono. They're going to move forward mid one. Just gets first hit, bashed immediately. They're baiting it in on the backside. He is going to hit another oh, ulti, and Ame oh, just oh, jumps oh. on him. They don't even need the arrow that flies through. He does too much damage. Puppy, they don't even care about him. They want to chase a more important target. It's going to be a mid one. He gets multi-casted. There's going to be the double star fall, and Ame just right click after right click. Samus already killed Puppy as well. Mid one will run away for now, but it won't matter. Ame continuously chasing him down. There comes the tree volley, and mid one just gets right click down. Well. He lives for a bit, but it doesn't matter. This is looking to be a 2-0 for PSG LGD. Chuck into the pit, it's kind of hard to, to Roche. It's gonna be torn, it does only at the Roche. Dagger flies through, neither team wants to fully commit. Arrow is gonna fly, and it actually hits Nisha on the back line. There's gonna be the boat, it only hits onto one. It is gonna be Chalice, he hasn't used his ulti quite yet. He does have a wand. There's gonna be the tree volley going in, doing so much damage, but Chalice is the first one to fall. They do get a toss in the air. Zai looking to be the next one to die. That Solar Crest keeping alive for a little bit. X Nova dies as well. Gem does get dropped, but they're going for mid one. The BKB pops, so the Ice Path won't do anything. And he will get the kill. He does. Ame does get called now. Zai getting bashed up. First hit. Ame makes it out. Has the Spirit Vessel, though. Cold snapped as well, just getting permanently stunned. It looks like they might be able to bring him down. This could be a Roche. He goes down. Arrow flies in. Hits Zai. And oh, oh my, my goodness. Samus <laughs> shreds them all. He even makes it out the Cold Snap, the Battle Hunger, and the Spirit Vessel. It, and they're going in. The Alacrity's there, the Tree Throw. Will that actually get the kill on Roche? Might be helping Nisha out. He snatches it, they do get the kill on it. Ame goes in. That's gonna be the Aegis. No, he makes it over. But they need to get it, and now he's in a bad position. They have the double damage, no Let Chrono. Do you go for this kill? Bloodlust Arrow too. will fly out, it does hit. We have an Ignite going, he can't get the stun off because he does get Ice Path on the back. Ame trying to chase for more with that. They're gonna bring down Nisha, looks like he runs up hill. Puppy just getting destroyed. He's there, oh. nice Arrow, oh, and that's to gonna neutral. be the gem. Holy smokes. Now Void Butterfly, Silver, he has Satanic and Backtrack with the Evasion. It's near impossible to take him down. We're gonna try to go in right here. He's gonna be Sans, he has the Lotus Orb. Now X Nova is just kind of running into the base. Nisha took so much damage right there from just a stun from Ogre in the Tree Volley. They are gonna try to permanently disable this Faceless Void, but I don't even know if he's taking damage at this point. He's just gonna right click. It's gonna be on to Nisha. There's gonna be a nice call again by Zai, but it doesn't matter. Trees everywhere. There's gonna be a nice path locking him down. Mid one gonna try to make it out. There is going to be Ame just running out. Nisha has bought back. He pops his ultimate. Does he want to jump in? Not quite yet. Arrow flies. Oh, blink out by Somnus. And now they move forward. Starstorm almost killing mid Jesus, one there. The and Silver Ame, Edge. They just instantly kill Nisha. And that's a GG call. That was a die back. And PSG LGD, they didn't just beat Secret. They beat him convincingly two games in a row. Two, exactly the same, right? Two 38-minute games.